What are we talking about in this bill? So, oh, 80, 80, 80,000, roughly? 80,000, 17 million, and Mr. Claus says that uh, the world's coming in, there's not going to be any more timber. Yeah. The, what the, happened to the timber industry? You've been in it 40 years. What, what, how's it changed now in Southeast? You know, we've lost 90% of our employment. We've lost most of our, our mills. We had two large pulp mills and three large sawmills and, a, you know, a lot of um, medium-sized mills. We have one medium-sized mill left. All the rest of it's gone. The, the people are gone. A few of them are, are working for Sea Alaska. We're trying to hang on to those jobs. Well, well I'm interested because Sherman, uh, Mr. Sherman mentioned that the Forest Service is supposed to supply, under the present uh, Tongass Land Management Plan, I think 267 million board feet annually? Yes. And what, how much do they usually uh, offer? Over the last 10 years, the new timber sales have been less than, way less than 20 million board feet per year, less than, way less than 10%. Less than 10 percent, and Mr. Chairman, I have to say, that's an example, we're talking about 80,000 acres of land, and the Forest Service is supposed to guarantee 267,000 land, and Mr. Claus, you, how many, again, I go back to the Chairman's question, how many uh, sales have you ever supported? One? That's the, mo that's the most recent one that I recall. I don't know about other I would say, respectfully, I've been in this business long, you've never supported a sale. Even this one you're not really happy with if you do support it. I've been here a long time, and I've watched your organization destroy an industry. We passed the Tongass National Plan, and we were told by your group, Peace in the Valley, we're going to have small sawmills. We're going to support you. Support you never supported this damn thing. You want to kill the industry. You have tried to kill the industry. You have done a good job of doing it. This is the last. And oh, is that true? If we don't get this bill passed, is there any chance for any? Uh, see Alaska or any other industry or in, in Southeast Alaska, uh, it'll work? You know, Sea Alaska is the anchor for our industry, and we're just struggling to hang on right now. If we lose uh, Sea Alaska, we'll lose 40 percent of what we have left, and I, I don't see I think our health insurance program would collapse. I think our pension program would collapse. I think uh, a lot of our infrastructure towing and and suppliers would, would collapse. I think it would it was extremely likely that it would all just crumble apart. Byron, I'll go back to you again. Uh, you're picking lands that have mostly been logged already, correct? Yes. And there's a road structure in, all right? Yes. So we're not doing anything really new. How would that, how is the comment uh, 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 that will affect the fishing industry when it's already been logged? How, how does that jive? It, it doesn't. We uh, are among the strongest supporters and local participants in the southeast uh, fishing industry. You salmon. are a fisherman? Yes. Yeah. Salmon and halibut uh, and other species. And we uh, would be the last to try to have any of, to, to be involved with any practices that would destroy or inhibit uh, salmon production in any stream in Southeast. The move to second growth, uh, quite frankly, was an effort to continue to move away from any kind of potential impact on other resource values within the forest while still allowing a sustainable timber harvest. Uh, uh, that's all I can say. We are absolutely committed to sustaining all fisheries and, and the value of, of all uh, aquatic resources in the Tongass National Forest. Uh, Mr. Claus, thank you, Byron. Mr. Claus, um, I want you to submit to the committee um, the total number of appeals and lawsuits your organization has been party to since 1990 in the Tongass. I expect that information as soon as possible, because um, I don't think you have it, because you've said that before. I don't have that with I, you. I, but I need that. I want to show you what you've done over these years, and how you've used the legal system, and how you've destroyed the economy, and how you're trying now to destroy the native people. And I got a sort of kick, Madam, uh, from Hawaii. Uh, he's heard native do it. We got two of the native leaders right here, and we got one more in the back of the room. These are the leaders. Um, and I, I, uh, I get concerned when a white guy starts talking about what the natives are saying. And I'll be right up front with you about that. Uh, I, uh, the native leaders are elected, they're chosen, and they're the spokesmen. 
And the sacred sites to me is, is a, a crucial issue. Uh, and the selection of 80,000 acres, Mr. Chairman, out of 17 million acres. I remember going to those small, and by the way, all these communities supposedly that Mr. Claus says suppose this are where logging camps. Now we got some retirees sitting there and government workers, people that uh, have it made, living on federal land, getting a paycheck, trying to take it away from I call the original owners of the land. And that is the injustice. In this committee, there is going to be justice served for my American Indians, my Alaska Natives. And no outside organization paid for by some wealthy person out of San Francisco is going to interfere with that. Because that is wrong. It is not justice. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.